and the cloud were on one. We are closing the gap. You know, this guy will come in this ring here. I haven't got his record, but I know for a fact this guy will have had 100 fights. Plus, they all have. Nobody comes out of Thailand with, with much less than that. And, you know, they fight every two weeks. You know, they, they are professional fighters. They get paid to train. They get paid to fight. And they don't they don't feed. They don't feed the family unless they get the fighting. So, obviously, the more they fight, the more they get paid, the more food on the plate. That is the way it is in Thailand. And it makes a massive difference. These are really generally hungry lads in the real meaning of being hungry. But what, what you've also got to realise is like, it's the even things that they've got better than us. I mean, the whole camps are geared up to massage, therapy, the whole training programme is like, as we both know, different great from kick that, great from right to the face. Um, the whole training programme is different. Absolutely. We spar a lot differently. Yes. We'll pad, we'll we, shin pad. But the ties don't do that. As a matter of fact, they won't open the spar very often. No, they don't. And it's the other way around. In fact, we'll, hard, we'll spar harder than the ties, and that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. You know? and, yeah. and, and they only really box and clinch really for me to the body hard. The rest of it's very light and controlled. Yeah. Really yeah. Really You're thinking the other way around, wouldn't you? And it's not. But of course, we've got the massage and everything. Yeah. And the diet as well, and, you know, and the weather, let's face it, I mean, we're in freezing cold gyms, you know, over here, you know, picking up injuries and, you know, training in, you know, in, let's face it, Jeff, you know, some, there's some fantastic gyms in this country, you know, um, full-time gyms, I've had one for over, you know, my 25th year coming up, um, but, you know, it's, oh, wow, a flying knee, cowloy taking, wow. and Andy nearly clean out, and Andy rightfully is just taking an eight count there, um, a jumping knee just came out of nowhere, and I think that sort of like shell shocked him a little bit. And he look, he's a, a bit like a rabbit in headlights there, isn't he? He, he? he took it well, you know. Look at that, he's acknowledging that. And look at he catch him actually in the, you know, if they had a caught him in the solar plexus, I think that'd have been game over. He just caught him in the centre of the chest, which so, offset his balance. So I actually thought it was under his chin. It's Andy. It, I, might, it might have been. It might have just. I saw it hit the chest, and it might have just glanced off in it in the chin. I, I, might have done. I thought it hit him under his chin. I, I and um, this just gel just looks awesome. That Ooh, beautiful shot, body, man. but yeah, it was. You know, you know. Sorry for the fire fans out there. Me and John, uh, Jeff was just you know talking about here about you know the actual what goes behind. What you, I mean, this is the you know this is the pinnacle. You don't see the six weeks of training. We're talking about diet, weather, the gyms. You know, we're talking about training. How the ties train. We're just giving you a bit of insight, which is crucial as to where these guys have got to to come to this centre stage here, Jeff. And it's this that you're seeing now, is, is, is the accumulative thing of, of all what we've just been talking about. And, you know, while we've been talking there, Jeff, a whole round has gone past. Um, what basically came alive with that flying knee, didn't it? Well, I, th I think uh, Joe just sort of felt his way around the ring a little bit. He always looked totally in charge, but very comfortable. He's tested down there a couple of times, the next start to go I, I think Joe showed a little bit of mercy there. I know I was saying about the closing the gap, and it's, it's such a gap to, for a British fighter to get in, even recently with such an experienced top class side, but that's exactly what I'm just dealing with, a very experienced, very top class side. I mean, this guy's what, 54, 55 kilos? This is like super bantam weight, um, featherweight possibly. You know, we're talking in, you know, like eight and a half, eight, no, sorry, about eight and three quarters stone in all money. Uh, and unfortunately for Andy, this is a heavy division in Thailand. This is the thing, is for every one that's been put in front of Andy, there's another hundred waiting, isn't there? Yeah. And, 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 and he's just uh, landed some good boxing shots there, but they, they haven't faced jail so. No, jail just got, and then Dale just, to, uh, you know, answered back with an elbow. Oh, stepping up a cut elbow. I'll tell you what, don't blink, Jeff. <laughs> Boom. I'm really worried for Andy here because this fellow looks very, very dangerous. And fair play to the bad company guys and Andy for taking this fight, you know. Unless a man won't even go in the ring with it, you know, with his tie. Oh, Beautiful nice. left to the body, yeah, but good I body. didn't see him half, but Jay, I was just talking to Yeah, more. conditioned out of these fights. It's only all the fighters are not just deal, it's not just the ties, not everybody because of this ring. 99% of them are absolutely torn and fit and just absolutely up for the game. You know, six weeks of hard training, 
professional training. And the thing is, we talked about it before, Jeff. The thing is, Andy Oson, like yourself and like me when we were fighting back in the day, I went to a job. <laughs> you know, the yeah. ties go to the gym. That's, That's the difference. It. That's a massive difference. The ties train four hours a day, six days a week. You know, how can you compete with that? We say four hours, it can be longer than that. Andy, they're going to work in earning his bread and butter in the daytime, going to bad company training for a couple of hours at night, you know, five days a week. You know, he's training ten hours, the tie will be doing like nearly triple that. And it, you know, it's and it's no there's no way you could do any more than Andy's doing in this country. You know, he's probably training more than the average person, you know, the average fit person as well. So he couldn't do any more training than he's doing, you know, because he has to go to work. He, he seems to be regaining his composure a little bit here, Andy. And um, you know, holding his home a little bit better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that he can start going, got gaining the confidence and start holding things together. Oh, and he nearly caught him with a high kick, that, huh? That was close, yeah. that. That was close, that. Well, this fight is all warmed up now, uh, Jeff. It's got excited. The crowd are coming alive. Uh, you, it's, know, you know, I, like I, you said. I, I think Andy ate him up across the leg before. Jail kicked uh, or blocked. I, I, he did look like he was pretending he actually looked like he He showed a bit of pain, and ties don't know how to do that, do they? Again, this comes down to his body language and facial expressions. Uh, to me, they speak a thousand words, Jeff, don't they? Of course, yeah. Uh, and there's, there's definitely, you know, some a window of opportunity there and, and oh I yeah and he's having some success though is that ooh and a jump round this kick right on the bell and I, th I think Andy sensed something there because it woke him up a bit that was definitely a far better performance from Andy yeah good round he come back into it there excellent yeah good point chef Absolutely. Um, you give the Ty something to think about. The Ty's expression change, that says there's something. Ty's only do two things, they either stay the same or they smile. Okay? Right. And if you get one to grimace, you've done well. <laughs> definitely, I, I definitely saw sure. Chimpanzee's arm. I mean, obviously, he's a very confident fighter, very skilled. Time is excellent, but Andy Day just started opening up a little bit. Started having a little bit of success. In fact, you make you know, his confidence grow as now, he just fights that. So there you go. I, 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 I've got to agree with you. Oh look, uh, he's, he's, he has. He's, I think somehow that jumping knee to Andy has actually done him a great favour. Um, and it's, it's woke him up, hasn't it? And it's like he, he's not right. You're having it. <laughs> Excuse the Bolton term, but you know. Yeah, yeah, he's closed the range, hasn't he? He stepped in, he's thought, right, I don't want to... Andy can kick. Oh, and a beautiful elbow. Excellent from Andy. And another one. That is great. His range and his tack has changed. Definitely, definitely just want to save the range. So, yeah, this third round is up. Yeah, well spotted, Jeff. I mean, it has, it, it's, you know, it's whether Andy's going to go back to that leg. I hope he does. I hope his corner sees that. But, like, you know, oh, and a beautiful body shot. But the tie's tough. He keeps taking them. Um, but the tie looks a little bit out of sorts now it, as well, isn't he? Oh. He's slowed him down, hasn't he? Look, he's not blocking yeah, strong that's with that right, left yeah, leg. That's right, yeah. He's not. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced the tie's left leg is here. I hope Andy gets it. Oh, and a beautiful oh, wow. left hook. Yeah, he's not, he's not the tie out of sorts, hasn't he? On a good knee to the body. Yeah, it's, this has surprised me. And I, well, it must, that, that, I am so pleasantly surprised. The tie looks out of sorts. He looks tired. He looks disorientated. And look at that. Wow. He's nearly spewing up. He is spewing up blood. That is what a body shot. I think it's going to be older, Jeff. Because you I, know, we talked about this body shot before. Wow, what a turnaround! England won! <laughs> Thailand nil!
Wow! That, what a show, what a performance! That, that was awesome! That was absolutely awesome! That was awesome! I, I still think I'm the original <coughs> soft of the up with a kick and his left leg, but those body shots and left hoops were absolutely awesome! And I've got to tell you, man, to say that I actually think when, he, when he's hitting him, he's throwing up blood then, I hope he's all right. I think the tie was throwing up blood. I think Joe was throwing up blood. Those left hooks to the liver and body were absolutely awesome by Andy Housen. This contest was the vacant World Muay Thai Council Intercontinental title. Our winner, by knockout, 1 minute 52 seconds of the third round in the blue corner. From Leeds. Well, they say the sign of a great champion is one that can get up and tear the fight round. On a hand to knock him in that first round, he took a couple of bad shots. He got up, took deep. In the second round, his confidence started growing, and the third round, he showed his true mental. He turned that fight right around.